Welcome back to the Handy Landlord. So here I have my K400. I have a backed up drain. I realized this drain was backed up when I was draining this water heater, trying to just do a PM. Uh, it's a pretty old water heater, but I'm trying to save it. So this drain right here is backed up. Uh, I love snaking drains that are full of water because then you you know when you get to the spot and you can work that spot. I do always try to wear uh, safety glasses. See it's slowly, the drain is slowly going down. I have the machine in forward and right now I just have a small half inch, you know, half of a blade on right now. Whenever I'm snaking a drain and I'm first getting it started, I like to have two hands on the cable and get it going because this is actually a P-trap right here. This unit is vacant, so it's a perfect time to go ahead, snake all these drains, get them cleared out, and get them good to go. Now you will get a lot of feel out of the cable. You actually, once you snake a few drains, you will actually feel, you'll, you'll feel the spot. And you'll be like, okay, I need to work that spot. So pull it back, go in, pull it back, go in. Uh, just kind of kind of work that spot. So I have the water running. That's grease. That's grease right there. Yep, and then uh, this is a clean out over here. So the cable, I don't know if you're gonna be able to see it, but I can see the cable right there. So it ties in somewhere up in here, ties in to the main, to the main drain. All right, I'm gonna pull this cable back, running it as I pull it back. I'm gonna pull it back and uh, change the blade to a bigger blade run it through a couple more times and clean the strain good. Some of you may know I've switched this cable out a drain cables direct cable. So my end is probably going to be different than yours. Mine's a 7 16 and it's just a nut on the end there. I like it so much better than that setup that Rigid has, I don't know. It's just me though. So I just grab some vice grips, uh, use a 7 16 wrench and switch this cable out. I don't have too many blades for this machine so I need to order some more from Drain Cables Direct, not sponsored. Uh, I've just had extremely good luck with their cables, their, just their, their stuff in general. I do like uh, trying to use vice grips if I can here on these. So some of you may have seen that video where I uh, switched this cable out. Now I did pull back, so this is a vacant unit, so I pulled back two rags, a wrapper, all of that. So for me, pulling back uh, that kind of stuff makes me think to myself, okay, let's go ahead and snake the main, let's camera the main, let's make sure everything is good in this property before I rent it to the new tenant because that's the last thing I want is the first call to be a drain. This could be favorite machines it's quiet it's easy to use uh, no complaints uh, haven't really had any issues the only thing I did to that machine is change out that cable all right because I'm down here I'm going to go ahead this is the bathtub right here and then over there is the uh, bathroom sink that section right there that drops down I'm gonna go ahead and snake this uh, just as a preventative what I normally do is lay kind of lay the machine down on the back and then uh, 
If needed and it's a really bad drain, I will run the cable inside of a piece of inch and a half PVC or inch and a quarter PVC uh, just to prevent it from whipping around. I don't think this one's too bad, so. put this cap back on and then basically run a ton of water flushing out that line. Uh, this is just a preventative maintenance, but uh, you can always run this through an inch and a half PVC piece of PVC. Uh, keeps the cable from whipping around and tangling up, uh, run it up to, you know, about here. And then it's a little tricky, but uh, you can get the hang of it. I just didn't need it because this line really wasn't blocked. I was just doing a preventative maintenance, cleaning that line. Always like to try to be as safe as possible, but you know. All right, I'm gonna put this cap back on and then flush that line. flush out those lines, flush out all the debris into the main. And then I will probably end up snaking, at minimum I will end up uh, cameraing the main, but I will probably end up snaking the main. So here's the bathroom. Uh, this place is really, really close to being done. At least I keep telling myself that it's really, really close to being done. <laughs> 